Let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, performance optimization. In this video, I'm going to be solving an EF Core query optimization challenge where the goal is to rewrite the baseline query and improve the performance as much as possible. Here's the GitHub repository for the challenge and I invite you to give it a try and also submit your own solution to see how much better you can do. The rules for the challenge are relatively simple. Only EF Core is allowed. We have to return the same data as the original version and we can't tamper with the database like introducing indexes and so on. So let's dive into the code and see what we can do. This is the baseline version of the query that we are supposed to optimize. The query is supposed to return the top two authors from the database. Here's the list of columns that we are supposed to return. Then there's a filter that the country has to be Serbia and the author's age is exactly 27. We should return the authors with the highest book count and all of their books, including the name, title and publishment year, are supposed to be published before the year 1900. So this is the data set that we are supposed to fetch from the database. Let's examine the baseline implementation. You can see a straightforward link query, a bunch of include statements to the related columns, then there's this really bad to list call here, which is going to materialize the entire database. So you can see the baseline query is written pretty bad and this is on purpose. Then you have your projection, which returns an author DTO. Notice that it returns much more columns than you'd actually need to satisfy the requirements. And another call of to list, this one will execute in memory. Then you have your where statement, checking the country and the author's age. Then we have the sorting by the book count and taking of the top two offers. And lastly, we have the filtering on the author's books that they have to be published before the year 1900. And finally, we return our final authors that satisfy all of the requirements. I already took part in this challenge and here is the solution that I submitted. I'm going to explain my thought process behind this optimized query and why I think it's faster and then I'm going to show you how we can do even better. So what do we have here? I'm querying the authors table, applying the respective filter on the database right away. I'm also sorting the offers in descending order based on the book count. Then I'm applying my projection and notice that I'm only returning the columns that are necessary to satisfy the requirements. The same applies for the book DTO. I'm only returning the ID, name and publish date. And I'm taking the top two offers straight away. Part that is missing is filtering the books based on the published year where they have to be published before the year 1900. I did this part directly in memory because I figured out that it's faster than performing it at the database level because there are no indexes in place. So filtering in memory was more performant in this situation. So this is the solution that I submitted. Now, because I already have an optimized version, let's run the benchmark and see what we are working with. Here are the benchmark results that we're going to use as our baseline and we're going to work off of this one. So the optimized version is almost 180 times faster than the unoptimized version of the get authors method. Now our goal is to beat this and try to be even faster than the optimized version with only using EF core. There's not really much that we can squeeze out of this query. So I'm going to use a different approach and I'm going to try to optimize this with EF core compiled queries. How a link query works with EF core is this expression is first compiled and then it's converted into SQL. With compiled queries, you are doing that compilation step ahead of time and there's no need to run that step at runtime and you can go immediately to SQL, which is where I'm hoping to see a performance improvement. So let's see how we can write this using compiled queries. I'm going to create another benchmark method. I'm going to start off by giving it the benchmark attribute and it's going to be a public method returning a list of offer DTOs and let's call it get offers optimized and I'm going to append compiled here. So there's no arguments and what we need now is our actual compiled query. The best practice with compiled queries is to store them in some static field. 
So let's create a private static read-only field that is going to represent the compiled query. And what a compiled query is, is a function. Now I need to define which database context is going to be applied for this compiled query, which is the app DB context. And I need to define the return type from my compiled query. In this case, I'm going to return an I enumerable of offer DTO. I could also return an I queryable, but let's go with this one. Let's give it the name of compiled query and let's see how we can get to the compiled query value. We're going to access the EF class, which exposes a compile query method. The compile query method accepts an expression and the first argument is going to be our database context. So let's specify our DB context and now we can write our actual query. So I'm going to say context offers and let's take it from there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to filter the authors based on the country and age. So I'm going to say where the offer country is equal to Serbia and the offer age is equal to 27. Now the next step was sorting the offers in descending order based on the author's book count. So we're going to sort descending by the offer books count value. After that, I'm going to apply my projection and I'm going to copy the expression from above just so that we don't have to type all of this. So let's copy this here. So we have our projection and what's left is just to take the top two offers and we should be done. Now we're left with the choice of where we are going to perform the filtering on the books. Let's try to do it at the database level. I'm going to add another where statement here that the book published year has to be less than 1900. So we're doing all of the filtering at the database and we can directly use our compiled query to satisfy the requirements. So back in our benchmark method, we need to new up a new DB context. So I'm going to say new app DB context. Now we need to execute our query, which is going to return a list of offers. How you execute the compiled query is by accessing the function that is stored inside of the static read-only field. We are going to pass it the DB context and we're going to call to list. And now we can just return our offers from the database because we are returning the result set that meets the requirements of this benchmark. Let's run the benchmark again and see if we got any improvement using compiled queries. Here are the benchmark results and I'm noticing two things. Our initial authors optimized query is now 187 times faster. So this benchmark run was more performant for the initial version and the compiled query version isn't as performant as the original version. However, we do have noticeably less allocated memory, which is a good start. Now, I suspect that this is because we are filtering the books in the database and I explained that through testing, I figured out that it's more performant to filter the books in memory. So let's try to make that adjustment in our compiled query. I'm going to get rid of this part here and I'm going to copy the book filtering part from the previous method and we're going to add it to our compiled benchmark. Now we're going to run the benchmark again and see if this yielded a performance improvement. Here are the final benchmark results and you can see that the compiled query version is 190 times faster than the baseline version and it's also better than our previously optimized versions. So using compiled queries can give you a noticeable performance improvement. But I don't think you should overuse it and try to turn every query in your application into a compiled query. Thanks for watching this video. Take a look at the video that you can see right here. And until next time, stay awesome.